And I said, what? My integrity just wouldn't allow me to do that. That could have been your nephew. That could have been your little brother. That could have been your dad. That could have been you. You know what I'm saying? It could have been your partner, anybody. I chose not to do it. So by me maintaining, this is my defense for 25 years. Does any part of you regret that at, at the age of 16 to now? And nah, as much because, as nah, because I fucked up. So let's go and touch on the genesis of all this. Uh, you're from Louisiana. What, uh, which part of Louisiana? I'm originally from Uptown New Orleans. I come up in Kenner, Louisiana, which is like the outskirts of New Orleans. Yeah. My, uh, my mother, she's from the heart of New Orleans. My father's from New York. Um, well, not New York, but up uh, on, on East Coast. Yeah. And, uh, but my history is in New Orleans and the surrounding areas. So I want to talk about just, you know, quickly as far as, you know, what even got you landing in Angola, you know what I'm saying? You're 16 years old, you're adolescents. They say most men don't become a grown man to their, you know, 25, as far as their mental thing. That's when the prefrontal cortex develops, yes. Exactly. So let's talk about as far as what your life was like coming into that eventful moment. And if you want to go into the details of the actual event that, you know, of course, the murder that uh, that became the situation that got you uh, sent up to Angola. Yeah. Um, well, my case number is 94 dad 5632, you know, so I have nothing to hide. However, I just have to be cautious, cautious and meticulous about what I see because I'm still fighting to be fully exonerated. So, however, um, <clears throat> there was a, you ever heard of the mob boss, the mob figure, Carlos Marcellus, back in the 70s, 80s, I believe. That name does ring a bell. Well, uh, his, um, he's a mob figure from the wall and is very powerful. Um, his name was even linked to the assassination of, of, of Kennedy. You know, his name was being thrown around in a circle. They said he, the government kidnapped him, dropped him in the jungle, and he made it back over here. So uh, his, one of his grandsons was in New Orleans doing their thing, you know, but he had that, that pale skin, so he couldn't really maneuver and do nothing. So I was a little youngster, you know what I'm saying? I was out there, man, my name was ringing. You know how that go when you out there, you, you doing your thing, you know? Um, I knew I couldn't be no average regular person, you know, if, if, if uh, I didn't realize I was this short doing until I went to Angola, but you know, um, I always thought I was big old, I thought I was six foot, seven foot, eight foot, you know, but uh, so I just was, uh, you know, all the way out there with situations, man, and that, that gave me a lot of notary, a lot of respect, plus I'm an old man baby, my pops was born in 1954, you know what I'm saying, I mean, I mean, excuse me, 1924. My pops was born in 1924. He was 54 when I was born. So I'm considered like an old man, babe. I come up around wisdom and knowledge and he, he was giving me a lot of jewels. And so I, I, I was taking that, mixing it with my little heart and I was going out there running shit, you know what I'm saying? Making things happen. So this particular individual, he was out there, had connections doing his thing. And um, once we, you know, parted ways, man, dudes went got him, you know how that go. And uh, my name popped up. Two little brothers got caught with, with, his, with his safe, with all his, his stuff and said he, they got it from me. So when they come got me, um, the way I was raised in the streets, you do this. You don't yeah. talk to the people. Now, that's what, like all this new stuff about right now. I, I, that's why I'm confused with it. So I don't even mess with it. All I know is you don't say nothing. You mind, you know what I'm saying? Mind your own, you live long. So when they picked me up, they put, six photographs before me at 16 years old. They said, look, you young, just pick one of them out and we gonna let you go. And I said, what? My integrity just wouldn't allow me to do that. That could have been your nephew. That could have been your little brother. That could have been your dad. That could have been you. You know what I'm saying? It could have been your partner, anybody. I chose not to do it. So by me maintaining, this is my defense for 25 years. Does any part of you regret that at, at the age of 16 to now? And nah, because nah, because I fucked up. I fucked up by choosing a way of life that was full of bullshit from the beginning. Amen. So I'm curious, those six photographs they put in front of you, you knew them all? <laughs> Hell no, all of them was just niggas. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just pick a nigga. They just, said, just pick a nigga. They, just pick a nigga. They trying to just get one that yeah, had you. They, yeah, they didn't. All it was, they knew that this was a Caucasian drug dealer. And the thing about it, when you look at the correlation of George Floyd, right? We yeah. watched. I was in prison. We watched. This dude get choked out. We watched this 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 guard, this police put his knee on that man for six, seven minutes, right? It's yeah. enough him out. I studied CPR. I already know if you don't get oxygen in your to your brain within six or seven minutes, it's the, you're a vessel. It's over with. Mm-hmm. So this, I know he know it because they trained him that in the police academy. Mm-hmm. So you put your knee on this dude's neck and choked him out right in front of the whole world. But as soon as you go to try to magnify, talk about this man's background, he did this, he did that. What the hell they got to do with you choking this man out right here in front of live TV, in front of everybody? So in this situation, they didn't now because I'm silent. Not one time did the media publicize that this was an adult drug dealer who had black kids selling his drugs for him. Not mm. one time did that come out in the media, man. And this was what year? 1994. Oh, man. Right. But they tell you, but in the newspaper, they said when I got convicted, they gave me the life sentence plus 30 years. They said I showed no remorse. That's oh. how they painted me like that. Why would they say that you had no remorse? What, what was Be- it about? Because George Bush, I mean, uh, 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 J- Clinton, um, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, Joe Biden, all of them had labeled us. At that time, New Orleans had the murder rate capital of the world. We had the smallest population, but per capita, we was killing more people than anybody else in the world. Yeah. So they labeled us urban, urban terrorists. They labeled us super predators. Yeah. And so they came up with this tough on crime shit. So they were just slamming us. 